Hello guys, Salman Naseem again. Today's video is about how to create a speech bubble animation or a dialogue animation with the help of Beyond. It is very famous animation style in which comments or a dialogue appear above the character in the form of speech bubbles. Mostly this type of animation includes very simple movements and it is mostly used by comic strip, cartoons and other forms of animation media to visually represent the character's speech or thoughts. So let's get started. For start, I will click on create a video button and now I will select the square. We have already learned how to create a short or a Facebook reel and with the horizontal. Now we'll go with the square one which will import the video with 1 on 1 ratio that is recommended for Facebook. So I have also generated a script with the help of chat GPT for my animation story. So the script is defining a living room with two characters Mark and John sitting on a couch. So we'll just have to search for a living room and we'll search in a scenes living room. So I want to use the contemporary animation so I will hide other options that seem nice to me so I will add this one. The only thing I want here is to replace this girl with the male, male one. I will right click and click on a replace button. I will go for characters, see all. And I need a contemporary characters, casual, and I think that one is fine. I have bring this character to here, and that one looks fine. Just I'll have to flip the actions. So it's time to bring some dialogue. I will search here bubbles and select the props. So there are a number of options for the bubbles, but I will strict myself to the contemporary one. And we'll go there and select this one. That will be that will going to be uh, for this one. This character so will name Mark and we'll go and and change that one to here. Increase the size a little bit and I think now it's fine. Okay, by the way, in a speech bubble we can also add the asset as a mask. I don't want to add the text, I'll just add the assets from the prop for example I will do that so that will appear inside this we have already learned this in uh, masking section so I will delete that one it's time to create the first dialogue and that is I will bring the dialogue from here paste here and bring the text to here we'll select the text and go for the text setting and click auto size and now we'll adjust little Go for dialogue, adjust that one little bit also and I think now it's fine. We have all, uh, we have more setting like uh, if I go for one, it is also looks fine. So the first dialogue is done, we'll just have to add the little animation to this character and change the uh, expression of this character. We'll first select the action that will be talking. So check this one. Now it's a very strong feeling. I don't want to, him to be us with the strong feeling. Uh, I think this one is fine. So we'll change the expression to smiley. But now it's time to animate the dialogue, the bubble one. We'll add the entering effect for that and we'll select Irish, the center, and apply. I want to appear it after one second and the duration will be 0.5 second. There is no exit effect currently but I will add that. I think uh, I think four second is fine for this slide. Uh, we'll select the slide, add the exit effect and exit effect with the same Irish one and only the scare one. So we'll add this one and everything, everything else is I think for me everything else is fine. So if I click on a preview button, it will show us like that. So the problem is that the text uh, we haven't at uh, we haven't attached the text with the bubble, so we'll have to animate it separately. We'll go and select the typing. I think select this one, and we'll select zero point seven. So first the bubble in the bubble will appear, and after that the dialogue will be appear. And we'll add the exit effect also and that will be the Irish, I think, same one. 
I am fine with it and the everything else is fine. Now if we we'll click on a preview button, it will show us like that. But still we are seeing that the text will be a text is appearing before the uh, before the bubble. We'll have to fix that also. We'll click again and now uh, uh, the delay is very uh, the delay is very far. I will add delay of 0 0.5. Now if we click on a preview button, everything will be fixed. Uh, I will go for the second character. But for the second character, we will click on a plus button and click on continue last scene. With the continue last scene, the last dialog already disappear. We will have, we'll have to add another bubbles. We will go for props, the bubble. And I think this one is fine for him. No. I will add this one. So I will place that here and bring that one to there okay and now it's time to place the text control V and bring that text to here and auto size and now that one is fine now it's time to add the animation but before adding the animation I will select this one shift selecting the bubble and right click click on group that's how we will animate everything with the one effect let's look at it we'll go for entering effect and we'll i will add uh, the irish again and uh, so now if i click on a preview button uh, preview from here and you will see that it will appear like i think i'll have to add the little movement here I will search the thing and let's see which dialogue is fine I think that one is fine so I think that one, that one is fine for me and I will add the exit effect for the last time I hope and this time I will select this Irish one and okay apply now Whatever we'll do, we'll just copy this slide, copy and paste it here. Bring that to here. And now I'll have to add another dialog and uh, we'll just copy the dialog from here and paste it. We already have the effect and everything. We'll just confirm it by clicking on a preview button. So I uh, will just have to fix a little bit like that, the little fixations. Uh, if you want to change some actions, you can do that. For me, it's not fine. I will change the action a little bit like that. From here, I will speed up the stuff until full story is finished. So that's where everything uh, is finished. I will click on a preview button to check everything is fine we can still edit if we want you can see there is a story uh, one guy disagree and the other one agrees so only problem is that you can see there is the uh, there is some jerk when, uh, when there is a shifting between the slide we'll just fix it with a few clicks fix the jerk we'll select the slide and we'll add the entering effect and uh, uh, we'll select this one and that I think that one will be fine and from here we'll, I will change the, the timing for the entering effect and click here click on preview button let's see how it looks like now I think I will, everything is fine we can add the music if we want like that from here there are the some musics, audio, no not the audio, there are the some background music uh, available inside the beyond and uh, we can play and test it. There should be a sound. I will add this one. So bring it here and we can adjust the volume by go, going to the setting and click on 50% is fine for me. So I will add the script and the video for your uh, for your practice 
hopefully you have learned something today feel free to ask me i am waiting for your questions and if you are feeling some difficulty for getting a beyond uh, in a cheap price you can contact me for that also i can help you in that so thank you so much for watching see you in the next video mm -hmm.